Boom! What's up everybody? My name is Kim Scoggle and today we're going to be taking a look at the part 2 of the video you saw last Friday and that's the Drop It project. It became a little bit longer than what I thought it was going to be and YouTube didn't want me to upload it. At least I, it just gave me a, an error and it's uh, when I tried uploading the full video. So I just cut it down the middle and this is part 2. We're not going to get uh, have much more intro but if you like this tutorial please hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and give it a thumbs up um, and that's it see you all inside in my experience this doesn't take a whole lot of time so now you just hit start it says the process failed for some uh, for some folders, I don't know why, but we'll check it out. So we gotta, I gotta open up this association here, take this one, edit, and then we might have to remove these two, at the double stars, the old files folders. And then I'm going to try this again. Just hit save. I'm going to take this one here. Yes. And now it's running through this. And I'm going to speed this up in uh, post just because it could take some time, but it looks to go pretty quickly, so I don't have to do it. <laughs> and now you can see it's going to move all these five JPEGs here. And then we're uh, going to probably get into some MOV files at the end. Here you see it's going to move them um, as well because it's going to be by the extension MOV. So now you just have to hit this play button. And I'm going to speed this up uh, as well. If this box comes up, it means that you already have one, so you just hit apply all, or you can go one by one. I'm just going to say skip if that file number already exists. Cool. So now, and you can see here in this folder where we had all the pictures, they are empty. The folders are still there because we didn't tell it them to take the subdirectories uh, with them on this file extension. So that's because I didn't, I don't like it that way. But if I go in here to organize by ext, you can now see that we have all the JPEG folders or files are here. We got all the MOV files. We got all the MP4 files. We got all the PNG files. We got TIFF file or one TIFF file and then unknown file. So that folder was empty. There might have been a compressed zip or something because I didn't specify that. So now we are pretty good to go here to start organizing one step further. But I'm going to make a couple of subdirectories here, just so you can see that it actually moves those as well. So I'm going to hit a new folder, and I'm going to call this Lakefront. And I can tell you that these images here were taken at the lakefront. And now I could go and do that for all of these other photos here but for the sake of time of this video I'm not gonna do it so uh, okay now we got to go back click on this drop it icon right click on it go to associations uncheck file by extension and now we're gonna take organized pictures by year month and subdirectory and then you hit that star so now I can take this JPEG and uh, PNG and TIFF and now we can drop these 
onto there. Now you can see we have them here. It's gonna remove uh, them a lot, but they're gonna put them into 2020 and September. And that's because I made that folder right now in there. So I shouldn't have done that. We can always stop this. Uh, these folders here were made uh, today, right now, it made them. So we gotta go, if I don't, we gotta go and remove the folder from here. So you can go here, mark this, right click on it, edit, and we're gonna take away the double stars again. That way it's just looking at the files. And hit OK. So we're gonna try this again. Command, control, click these three or whatever, all the image files you have, put it there. Now it's gonna run through it again. Okay, so now we can see here it's gonna, this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna show you now in a second. We're just gonna hit this play button again. You can see it runs through it really quickly. I got two instances of OBS Studio. I got Audacity running. I got this program running and I got a separate webcam input here as well. So now you can see if I go in here, these are empty PNGs, but the MOVs are still here and MP4s. So that's cool. Now we can go here and there we can see we have 2016. Now we have pictures from December 2016. Now we have uh, November, October, and then, and this, you can specify and make, have this program, make new folders, rename, and so on, and do, it's, it's basically your imagination that's the, the limit of what it can do. You can see here, it's all awesome. So there, we have organized the, um, the photos here. Now we're going to do the movies or videos. So again, mark this, right click on it, go to association, uncheck this one, check this one. And then we're going to have to um, probably, because we made these videos, so we're going to go edit. We're going to have to remove these double stars again. So just looking at the video files themselves and hit this J here. So now if we go here, we can take uh, MP4 and MOV, just drag them up there. They say this is pretty big file again, just hit yes. So it goes, runs through pretty quickly. That's the operation that's gonna happen. Now we can click here, we're already done. So if you go in here, they're empty, empty. Uh, all these are empty, but we can find now the same videos here under uh, the year and day a uh, month. So, and for some reason, my explorer just um, just quit on us. Probably did a little bit too much at once. So, if I go here, I can go back to uh, where are you? Uh, iPhone pictures. There you are. Go back here to movies, and you can see that we have. All those are here. So what I can do now is I can delete this one. Oh, so we gotta just exit this program. Now we can take here, delete this one, continue. Yes, try again. Didn't want to do it for some reason. Don't know exactly why. You see we have organized photos here. We're just going to rename this one or organize movies. The file is open in another program. Oh, I, I know why. It's because it's open here in, uh, in Digicam. So you just go open up your Digicam. I have no idea why. It, opens up like that. But now we can go here and we can 
unzip this, take this one away. You can see we have organized photos and movies here. So this one can now be deleted. So you can delete it straight from here. And now you can easily uh, go and rename stuff here. So now you can see if let's if we um, added names to these like something you could use the other program, drop it again to um, to organize them by names and stuff like that. And uh, it just takes the, all the hassle out of organizing uh, your old images or your new ones for that matter. If you like this tutorial, I'm sorry this became a little bit longer than what I was thinking it would be, but hopefully you got something out of it. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and leave your comments down below if you will uh, use Drop It. I love it, and I'll see you all next time.